How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we finally have another brand new exclusive car that has been added to Forza Horizon 4. To be honest, it's quite a good one. I think so far it is the Ferrari 59XX of this update. What I mean, it's absolutely insane. At the end of the video you'll see a clip of this a new car fully upgraded with a standard engine and it is an absolute monster. Corners and handles like a monster at 250 plus miles an hour, it's definitely worth getting so I recommend you do it. Obviously the car in question is the 2008 Maserati MC12 Corsa. As you know we have the MC12 in the game already but this is the Corsa edition and it is just as insane if not more insane than the other version. I think it's even better to be honest. So what I'm going to do in today's video is very quickly go through the fastest way that you can get this car. It only took me 50 minutes to get this car, which is absolutely nothing compared to most people that seem to struggle. So I'm going to explain my method, the ways you do, the races you do to get this Maserati as quick as possible. As you can see on screen, you unlock the Maserati MC12 for getting to 50% through the festival playlist for autumn, which is this week only. And I'm going to show you the fastest way to get to 50% completion right now. For everyone that struggles to do it quickly, this will help you out. So, getting to 50% as quick as possible. Sounds difficult? Pretty easy. First of all, I recommend you do the weekly Forzathon. The weekly Forzathon will bump you up to 14% towards the completion. I recommend doing the weekly Forzathon in the Aston Martin DB4 GT Zagato. I actually had quite a lot of fun driving this car. It was upgraded to about 700 horsepower, I think. The first weekly challenge, you have to drive it. Simple as that. Second weekly challenge, you have to get nine stars on speed zones. You can just do the same speed zone over and over again till you get a total of nine stars. Then you have to win the road racing series race, the Colossus, I think it's called, at the bottom of the map somewhere. Complete that in the Aston Martin and you'll be good to go. And then the fourth challenge is to get 250,000 skill points in the Aston Martin as well, which I went up to the airport, I fully upgraded my car mastery, and it only took me about uh, two, three minutes or something to get 250,000 um, skills. You can do the weekly four star challenge in any classic sports car, but I highly recommend using the Aston Martin. It was easily my favorite. Once you've done that, that will get you straight up to 14% towards the completion. Then I recommend you do all of the seasonal PR stunts, and this is what I recommend you do those in. There is a speed zone at the bottom of the map, which you have to do at 205 miles an hour. Speed trap, sorry, not speed zone. I did this in the Ferrari 59XX first try. I think I did over 250 miles an hour or something stupid like that. Very easy in the Ferrari. That will get you another 6% and bump you up to 20%. Then there is a danger sign on that big hill thing with a little castle thing at the top. You'll know what I mean, you see it on screen. There's a danger sign here. Just do this. I can't remember what meters you have to hit or feet, but it's very easy. I did it first try in the Ferrari 59XX again. That'll get you another 6% and get you up to about 26 something like that then there's a drift zone near the bottom of the map as well all of these PR stunts are quite close to each other I did this drift zone in the Ford Hooney truck did it first try again very easy to do that will get you another 6% towards your completion now it's worth mentioning that with the weekly Forzathon challenge you'll also complete the daily Forzathon challenge as well which will get you a measly 1% but with the weekly Forzathon challenge the daily Forzathon challenge and to three PR stunts, you should now be up to 33% complete. Next, what I recommend you do is the monthly rivals. I'm not going to show a clip of this because it's very, very easy to do. Monthly rivals all the way on the right hand side of the screen. All you have to do is do one clean lap, which takes like 40 seconds, something like that. You actually do it in the Maserati MC12 that you're working for as well. So it's cool to experience that. But do one lap for the monthly rivals to qualify, leave it and then you'll have an extra 5%. That'll get you up to 38% complete. Now is unfortunately the boring part. Once you've completed all of these, all you'll have left is the trial, the seasonal playground games, the seasonal events, the horizon story, and the online adventure. Now the online adventure is obviously online, so I stay away from that, it takes ages. The horizon story, you don't actually get much percentage for this at all unless you complete it completely. So all 10 events, which takes forever. So I wouldn't bother doing that to get this car. The seasonal playground games is online. That takes absolutely forever. And I wouldn't recommend doing that for 6% either. And the trial is also online as well. So I'd stay away from that. This is just the fastest method possible to get this 
car. So what I recommend you do for the last 12% is complete the grudge match seasonal event, which you do in Ford Mustangs, and then the overnight parts seasonal event, which you do in stuff like the Mitsubishis and GTRs and kind of old JDM type cars. This actually takes the longest. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes just to do these two seasonal events because each event has three races each. So that's six races you have to do. They're quite short to be honest, but these are the last things you have to do to get straight up to 50%. You can feel free to do the other stuff like the other seasonal event, which I didn't try. You can do the online adventure, the horizon story, the playground games. All of these will get you percentage towards the completion. However, I know lots of people struggle to get this and they get kind of sucked into the playground games. They start getting stressed out because it takes ages. I actually noticed Slap Train, he was getting so unlucky with his online games. So this is just... This is just purely the fastest way to get the Maserati MC12 in the game. And as I said, within 50 minutes of the season chaining, chaining, changing, I was already driving around in the MC12 and it is a load of fun. One of my favorite new cars this season. It's pretty cool. And actually it's worth mentioning, if you do those two seasonal events that I mentioned to get the last 12%, you actually unlock two other cars as well. A Ford Mustang and a Nissan Fairlady, I believe. Two also rare new cars so yeah weekly forza thon daily forza thon which you'll do accidentally seasonal pr stunt seasonal pr stunt seasonal pr stunt seasonal event seasonal event and then the monthly rivals all of which you can complete very quickly apart from the events which are a bit of a pain but obviously after you do that you'll hit 50 percent straight away you go to the festival playlist and you'll unlock the maserati mc12 corsa you can put two engine swaps in this Maserati. I think one of them's a racing V12, a bit boring, and the other one's a hybrid V12, I think. But with this thing, it's actually worth keeping the stock engine in and fully upgrading it, and you'll get just over 1,500 horsepower, which is pretty cool, 1,530, I think. And it's up there with one of the fastest accelerating cars in the game. It's pretty good. It's not the highest, definitely not the highest, but it's definitely got ridiculous acceleration more than usual and as for handling as well as long as you keep it rear wheel drive that's also mental as well obviously we'll have some clips on screen of the Maserati now I like the window sticker on it the window sticker looks pretty cool but it gets in the way when you're in cockpit view but um, yeah I definitely recommend getting this while it's available for the next week just before I show the outro of the video I'm going to show you about I don't know 20 super wheel spins or something I had some super wheel spins to use so here's a clip of like 15 to 20 super wheel spins and then uh, yeah then we'll end the video there but leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone definitely recommend getting these car while you can grab if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and I'll see you all later